Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Kane Baker is back in the bubble. Buzzing. Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Third time back in the bubble. Uh, yeah, bubble wrap. That's what they're saying. Um, so, yeah, I'm just buzzing to be back here. Third time lucky. Yeah, the boys have started calling you bubble wrap. And uh, when you walked in, I think you did put a smile on everyone's face because you had a wretched first bubble and your fight with Vacuum got postponed. Um, your second bubble preparation was smooth, but the result didn't go your way. Third time lucky, fingers crossed. 100%, yeah. I had, uh, I had tears in every bubble apart from this one so far. So, uh, yeah, third time lucky. I'm going to, everything that, everything now is just, I've had all the experience of the bubbles and the, the good times and now it's all about just coming out of this bubble with a win. The shortest retirement of all time as well. I know it wasn't like an official retirement, but you did say you considered um, giving up on the sport after defeat to a keep. Was it ever something that you considered a lot or deeply or did you not even have time really to consider it when this opportunity came? No, I didn't really have any time to, to reflect on it. I was just, I had a t bit of a titty moment and I, uh, I uh, yeah, I threw me dummy out of the pram and now oh, it's all over and uh, yeah, I think I was just gutted because of, I didn't think the chance would ever come again and uh, that was two weeks ago and now I'm back here with the chance again. So uh, it's just really, it's really lit me and reignited me if anything uh, and made me realise that Unless, unless uh, there's nothing would ever stop me fighting. I've never stopped fighting my whole life, so nothing could make me retire really. Apart from if I never passed the medical or anything like that, would be the only thing to stop me fighting. Or if there was significant damage I took in any fights, then I'd make for my health reasons. But apart from that, I'll, I'll fight till I till I can't stop no more. Let's talk about how the opportunity come about. So. It's the Wednesday and Peter Fury tests positive for coronavirus. I come out on the Thursday, speak to Tony, and that's when he mentions that he wants to get one of his boys, Shakespeare, on the card. Um, obviously, around that weight as well. Um, what was it like? Was it just a one phone call and, and bang? Or did you find out because Eddie tweeted your name? Or how did you find out? Well, it was all in the bit of, um, as it was going on, I did get a phone call first from my manager, Errol. Um, but my headphones, my speaker broke, so my headphones weren't working. So I, uh, I didn't answer, and then uh, I was eating my breakfast, which I regret now, because I yammed it all off and off. And then he texts me saying, uh, "Call me urgent," and that kind of normally suggests that there could be a fight on the horizon. Uh, and then I, I phoned him, and he mentioned a couple of names: uh, Spears and someone else, but one was a southpaw, a bit heavier. He just wanted me to weigh myself and. Uh, and go from there. And I, said, I said, just say, yeah, I'll make the weight. Don't worry, I'll definitely, I'll definitely want in. And then he didn't call me back a few hours later, come back. But in this time, people are texting me saying, are you fighting? So it's all going off on Twitter. I don't have a Twitter account. And it was all going off on Twitter. And uh, yeah, and then that, that, then I just, Errol phoned back. He said, it's on, it's done. You, you got, you got to go tomorrow to the bubble. Oh, back in the bubble, lovely jubbly. It's mental. I mean, it would have just been another chapter in the, Kane Baker story if you hadn't have got this fight because your fucking speaker was broken on your phone yeah I know I know yeah I imagine that to be fair my um, my missus speaks to everyone my manager quite a bit so I think they had a previous call while my, she weren't at home with me I think he might have phoned her and she even had said yeah he will he needs to he's because my mental not my mental state but my, I was a little bit depressed uh, yeah and she Kind of said with Errol, yeah, he's got his, he needs to fight, he needs to get him out of this little titty wobble he's having. And uh, so they even, Errol even half said to me, he said, Your missus was going to put you in, in anyway, in, in, the, in the mix. So, yeah. Obviously, the fairy tale will, uh, will end at some point and it will be down to business. You're going to touch clubs with Shakespeare. What do you know about him? I mean, I know he's managed by Tony Bellew, but I think even to some of the hardcore fans, he's a fairly unknown quantity at the sort of televised level. Yeah, definitely. Um, He's a small hall fighter like myself, but wow! Well, when I think back now, I've, I'm probably the more experienced on this on the bigger platform. You're not a small hall fighter anymore. No, 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 no. I'm the, I'm a mini Dave Allen. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
I just I don't know too much about him. I didn't know too much about Akib. Uh, but I know he comes to have a fight and that will bring the best out in me and, and I'm ready to fight and I, I've got to give it my all tomorrow. I really have. I'm going to go to war. Do you feel like because you've I don't know. I'm not, it's, it's, it is a lucky opportunity in a way because yeah. there, there weren't a slot on this card. So do you feel like you have to go to war? You have to prove a point of why you're here because if you have a down performance and you don't perform, you're cagey, you're boring, then that really is potentially the end for you. Yeah, 100%. Um, but I don't look at it as any pressure from the people watching or anything. I really my own worst critic sometimes. So I, I know what I'm a boxing fan, a massive boxing fan. So I know what I want to see from me when I watch it back, and I know what I, what I want to do in there, and I want, and it's going to be entertaining. I will, I will fight till I can't fight no more, and I will go forward at every opportunity I get. Uh, and that's my style has been coming quite exciting to some of my friends and fans, and it ain't going to stop. If anything, it's going to be revved up even more because I know this could be my last chance to learn on the big tour. Well, uh, like I said, I think. Most people are delighted to see you back in the bubble. I suppose you're gonna. You said you your missus shows you some of the bad feedback and some of the good feedback as well. Um, you're gonna have, I suppose, bad feedback because anyone who gets a televised slot seems to be doing well for himself. There's always a bit of a target place on their back because people say, "Look, well, who is he to just come in from the small hall scene, get a chance, reschedule, get another chance, and then get a third chance?" So that, will there always be that target on your back now? Do you think? Uh, yeah, one hundred percent. And I, I can understand it from some people, from some people that are waiting. And it really would take any 50 50 on a couple of days' notice. And I do, but there is some people who, who put training videos up, hammering the pads. They get offered a fight and they don't want to fight. And I've seen, I've seen it in, I've been in situations and seen fighters that are unbeaten that 50 50, oh no, I don't want one of them. So for me, I would, I would always take it when it's been 70 30 against me, 80 20 against me. I would, t- I'm, my friends and family know me, and I'll never turn down a fight in my whole life. Uh, so, in one chance, I, I do deserve it for for my guts and my uh, and my just persistence in the boxing. I've been persistent. I've took chances on silly notice, um, and this for me is on the back of two weeks. Two weeks ago, I'm still re- ready to go. So, I'm still kind of fresh in the minds of people as well. So, they want to see my story. Whether people want to see me get flattened or Want to see me give it one more third time lucky? I'm sure a lot of people were interested in seeing what what will happen with my with my fight tomorrow. Just one final thing. I know your mind is probably focused completely on this sort of last minute, last minute thing. But um, you say you want to show guts and you should be rewarded for the fact that you basically got bollocks. You're going in there. I don't care who it is. Don't care what the time is. I'm going to weigh this. Blah blah. If you win this, it could become about more than that. Uh, could you look at one day picking up an English title, a British title? You never know. Like, is it sort of now? You've been given this other opportunity. How far does it go? Yeah, um, this is, mom, to be fair, mum. Everything that gets asked of me or like questions in interview, my missus has kind of said to me, like, "What, what are you gonna? What are your aspirations?" And because uh, you can't just be known for your guts and yeah, yeah. yeah. they only take you so far. That that will. Um, but I believe that I am a lot better than people have seen, and there is different sides to my game. I can box a bit. Fiaz is a very good boxer, um, and I could, I've competed with some really good boxers when I boxed. If someone comes to fight me, then that's that's more you'll see a lot more from me. Um, yeah, I just I believe I can go go as, as I didn't believe I'd be here, and that's unbelievable that I'm here for the third time. So if, to say an English title or a British title, do I believe? Yeah, I believe I can, on my day I can give anyone a really good go and. If the rewards there are, I'm going to give my all to grab it. Brilliant. Well, next step is uh, tomorrow night. So let's see how it all goes. And I'm sure we'll catch up after. Hopefully win or lose. And for your sake, win. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see where the Kane Baker journey goes. No one knows anymore. Let's be honest. It could go absolutely fucking anywhere. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we need to catch up with an interview. And our, no tears and a celebration. That's what I need tomorrow. And so, yeah, tears I'm going to Tears of happiness, maybe. But I've even... Uh, yeah... I've been slagged for the tears. I've really got to cut them out. But to be fair, it made Eddie feel sorry for me, innit? So it's, they worked a little bit. <laughs> Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. 
Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.